like some chicken. Welcome back everybody. So do y'all remember how yesterday I was all like, Titus is gonna smoke chicken and then we ended up not. And I said, he's gonna smoke it tomorrow. Tomorrow is here. But I'm the one smoking the chicken. I gotta wash my hands real quick. I wash my hands. H2O. Water. Water, that's right. <laughs> Joel and Sissy taught him that, so he always wants somebody to say H2O so he can tell you that that's water. <laughs> now, as we all know, I'm not good at grilling and smoking foods. But Titus is gonna be here, so if I need his help, I'll just grab him real quick. So he's out there doing some finishing touches on the front porch. He got it stained yesterday. And this afternoon, they're gonna be working on a little walkway that's gonna come around to the steps on the front porch. So we redid the front porch a couple months ago, I guess, but it wasn't completely finished yet. We were trying to decide what color we wanted to stain it. Same thing with the back porch. It's been done for a while. It's just not stained yet because we couldn't decide if we wanted to go with a dark stain or what. But anyway, we finally decided and we weren't going to do this walkway thing. But uh, if y'all remember how the porch was before, right when you walked out the front door, there was nothing there. No steps. It was just open. And the kids always used to just run out the front door and jump off the porch. <laughs> they used to love it, but I always wanted steps there because it just kind of looked funny you know with no steps there it was just you know nothing and then that trellis thing was covering over on the other side of the porch covering up the whole porch anyway i wanted steps there so we put the steps and now since those steps are there and we use it the ground you know right before you get to the steps there's not any grass there and so when it rains especially it is very muddy and the porch stays muddy and dirty all the time so titus is going to put a little fence up out there not really a fence you'll see how it is I, he's probably not going to get it finished today he thought he might be able to but he has to run back to Lowe's again. <laughs> but he's gonna put, it's kind of like more like a railing. Really, I'll, I'll pop a little picture up here and show y'all how it's kinda gonna be like. It's kinda gonna be like that. <laughs> and he's got some gravel that they're gonna put down. They might end up having to get a little bit more gravel, I'm not sure, but they have enough at least to get started with it. So maybe once we get that done, the porch won't be so muddy all the time. So I'm slicing up these apples. We're gonna stuff the chicken with some apples and Titus said apples and bacon. I've gotta hurry though, because they've already got the grill ready. Okay, it's still good. I, I have plenty of time. It's still rolling pretty good right now. Granny Smith apples are so good. I'm gonna put in some brown sugar and just a little bit of cinnamon. And that's it, I'm just gonna use my hand here because I should have gotten a bigger bowl, so we'll just mix it up a little bit there. We're gonna stuff it with the apples and bacon mixture. For some reason, I'm thinking about Thanksgiving right now. We're just gonna put a little apple juice in the bottom. And we're just gonna put some salt and pepper on here and some paprika and a little bit of brown sugar. That's it. All right, so the chicken is probably gonna take about two hours, hour and a half to two hours. So before I start everything else, I'm gonna do some of the cleaning on my big cleaning list that I was telling y'all about last week. I'm gonna organize this coffee cabinet over here. How does this happen? <laughs> Not on <laughs> It always happens though. Every couple of months, Mama, you gotta organize it again. This? What do you see? Uh, a coffee. This is the coffee that we got from Ingalls. We didn't really love it. Sorry, Ingles. This is a coffee Titus got from Walmart. He really likes it. I just think it's, you know, I mean, it's pretty good, but I like Folgers better if I just wanted regular flavored coffee. This is my blueberry coffee Folgers. We actually got this big thing because Ingles only had the big ones. They, they have a hard time keeping the small Folgers things in stock. And Titus was gonna get one to take when they went camping, but they didn't end up getting to go camping. But yeah, anyway, now we have this big boy. Pumpkin spice cappuccino hot chocolate. That's espresso. I use that uh, for cold brew when I want to have like an iced latte because you know it's a little stronger. Dunkin' coffee. Pasta.
on Christmas Eve? Yeah. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and start the potatoes. The chicken still has probably about 45 minutes left. Now I'm gonna put some sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot, and I'm gonna put some of those little red potatoes. I'm just gonna make mashed sweet potatoes. And with the little red potatoes, I'm gonna do a little bit of potato salad for the kids. Me and Titus want sweet potatoes. They don't really, sometimes they like sweet potatoes. They're, look at the shape of this one. They're, um, I don't know, it just depends. Especially Sissy. Sometimes she'll want a sweet potato and then other times she's like, nah. So I'm gonna make enough mashed for if anybody wants some besides just me and Titus and I'm gonna make those little red potatoes. We've got a cup of water in there with them and I'm gonna do 12 minutes. For the baked beans, I'm just gonna put them in the skillet and stick them in the oven. They're gonna cook in there. I have barbecue bread right here that we're gonna butter and toast. We usually get a question about what is barbecue bread. <laughs> this is it, it's just a really thick piece of bread with some sesame seeds on top that you can butter and toast it on a grill or whatever, it's you know, just really thick bread for barbecues. A T-Rex stomach. Oh, that's your T-Rex's tummy, is he hungry? You want some chicken? No. He likes Play-Doh. Oh, he likes Play-Doh? Yeah. But we don't eat Play-Doh, right? No, we don't eat kids. Right. All right, I'm just gonna dump in these baked beans. Shoot, I had to sneeze. Where'd you, Mama? Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> All I'm gonna do to these baked beans is add a little bit of brown sugar. They are already maple or bacon and maple, or they, I already threw the cans away. I think they were make bacon and maple, maple bacon, I don't know. There was bacon, I know that. But anyway, I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown sugar, stir them up. Sometimes I do lots of different things to the baked beans, like we'll cook up some onion and do the cowboy baked beans with peppers and different stuff, but I think tonight I'm just gonna, you know what? I will add a little bit of barbecue sauce too. That always makes them really good. So in here with the potatoes, I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter and just a little bit of heavy cream. Okay, a little bit of butter. sour cream, baked potato salad. You can add some cheese on top or bacon bits, green onions. Oops, lost a tater. Baked beans are done. All we have to do is butter some of this barbecue bread and toast it and by then the chicken will be ready. It doesn't look as good as yours do. Bird, social bird. <laughs> well, it was chicken. I already had it. Yeah, I already had it on chicken. Oh, it went to turkey. It's ready for Thanksgiving. We got that little thing from Ingalls, right? 158. What's it got to be at? 165. Uh, 163. Oh, oh. 165. Harry. We have reached the top. All right, let's get it. 